question. Is it or is it not a crime that somebody has not yet remade the movies? Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and if you're a big fan of The Sims 3 or The Sims 4, or as I mentioned, the movies, that movie lot building simulator that also allowed you to make your own movies and sell them and do a lot of cool uh, special effects and editing and directing, well, Blockbuster Incorporated seems to be a game that combines all three of those. Well, welcome. Good to see you all here. This game, of course, a free demo on Steam is a very promising look at a game that finally might fill the gap in my heart for uh, the movies, which, of course, is still out and still runs, and you can probably get that on GOG or Steam or wherever. Uh, but that was, of course, a classic, very, very good and very well done movie simulator where, of course, you made the movies and built the sets and hired the stars. And this game seems to also do the same, starting, of course, at the very beginning of film with studio lots and uh, trying to basically uh, do silent film that essentially would have then music performed behind it going all the way up to modern times and of course having modern day special effects and cinematics uh, in of course post-production so anyway if you want to download this one it is on steam i saw it at the steam next fest and i've been wanting to try it and give it a shot as it's got all the things that i love about business management where we actually get to build our own buildings and hire people but also of course get to manage a studio a lot like a budget and of course buying props and hiring actors and people to do special effects stuntmen and whatnot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a brand new game of Blockbuster Incorporated. Let's go. All right, and here we are. Welcome to Blockbuster Incorporated. Let's start that tutorial. But first, let's take a look around town where, ooh, there's vehicles from the 20s driving around. Nice. A good opportunity for the devs here would be to make sure that this gorgeous looking city, at least there's a few buildings in the 20s, eventually grow in number and in different styles as of course we approach the 40s 50s 60s and so on It'd be really cool if this town where our studio lot is next to will change as well the road looks beautiful it's cool to see all the cars zipping around and i gotta say i like the theater here too where eventually we're probably going to debut our movies and we've got all sorts of little residential you know apartments and a gas station so it would be really cool in the future if as we go on forward in this game we see different buildings sprouting up maybe an international airport but of course we have our filmwood sign over there in the distance pretty cool and of course uh the car advertisement for that really tiny red car that's zipping around that thing is so narrow it may as well be on two wheels like a bicycle car all right let's go ahead and get started so of course this is our movie lot here and uh, unfortunately in this demo i don't think we're able to build like a little road here but it would be cool to build like an area for people to park and then walk around the studio we don't get too much space starting out but this is enough to at least get an initial start and we don't really have a lot of space to expand into except we do like we have to buy each one of these sections and it doesn't look like much but i think you know once we build all of our buildings there'll be plenty of space for all of our sets but then all of our other buildings and maybe delete old stuff and optimize and possibly build multiple floors although i haven't seen that option just yet but i gotta say this is probably the most bland looking area although they did a good job of making it look a little flooded with the rain coming in and of course the grass is kind of meh but you know we're supposed to build something beautiful here so it shouldn't look complete it's up to us to do that so let's get started let's go ahead and start by building the first thing which is our producer's office we're going to essentially build all the offices for writing producing and researching things for the film such as wardrobe and whatnot so let's go ahead and build our own room so this game does have the option to do prefab rooms so already pre-built producers offices writer office offices and this works a little bit like how it would in two point campus or two point hospital where rooms require certain things to be in them in order to function so we're going to go ahead and do um, kind of a larger building here now i'm going to do a combination office here the tutorial is just telling us to do a simple like five by five at least it'll tell us to make a room just this small but what i want to do here is make like a big o office that we can build multiple offices in so if we do something like maybe a 10 by 15 uh, then we should be able to uh, build ourselves a few offices down the hallway and i think that'll be kind of nice maybe a reception area whatnot now another thing that's nice about this is yeah doesn't this really look like the sims 3 or 4 i mean i gotta say if it does if that doesn't convince you then take a look at when we look at the doors and the windows yeah this menu really reminds me at least of four and they all seem to have different prestige to them too like door eight seems to have a 35 um, like there's a little gold metal there so they all must have some sort of different property as where this one has just 30 so let's go ahead and build our office over here should be kind of nice we'll build a door and then we'll get started by building a room within this room so we should be able to build yet another room here oh and the tutorial they want us to first go for the objects well of course we can put down doors different types of windows of course we can paint the walls and the 
Floors can be tiled or carpeted. And the more important thing, which is objects to which we can filter by what they want us to do, the producer's office. But again, this is just a demo, so we won't be able to see things like the lounge or the classroom, visual design or audio, etc., etc. So we'll go ahead and start with the producer's office, as they indicate, and we just need to build the desk for that one. So we'll pretty much, cop I think we're going to copy the same design for each one of these rooms. I think we'll need a producer, a writer, and a research office, so we'll do it like that. And uh, let's go ahead and plop this down here. Um, which way is he facing here? I think we can use E and Q to rotate. Oh, I guess he's facing this way. So it'll be a little uh, cramped, but it'll be uh, okay. Let's go ahead and add all the things that are needed. Oh, I think there's a checklist for this too. Click all four items shown into the room. Okay, so we need a small and a large cabinet and then also a notice board. We can go ahead and put that behind him if we want to. Boy, that's crowded, but... Hey, if it works, it works. Okay, let's go ahead and put down a little board. Now again, the bigger the rooms, right, the less we'll be able to build, so, but this was the 20s, they didn't care about that too much. But regardless, there it goes. Good job, let's make a writer's office too. Select the room uh, tool again. And now we're going to make and build another room. So I'm gonna to try to make a room within this room. So if this is a five by five, I think we'll kind of make it, oh boy, like maybe a four by, uh, let's see, I think maybe an 8. I'm going to try to make a room here. The 4 by 7 is, I think, what I'll try to make here. And, uh, yeah, that should be good right there. Perfect. Oh, room was too small. Make a 5 by 5. Okay, so this room will at least have to be a 5 by 7. We'll go ahead and move one over. And that could be a 5 by 7 there. Perfect. All right, let's add a door to that. I think we'll do the little prestigious one, although it seems a little weird to use a completely glass door. That seems a bit modern. Okay, now we're going to do exactly what we did before. So back to the objects, back to the writer room, and then we're going to throw down that desk. So a lot of these desks look pretty similar. Uh, you can see a few different things on them. The producer seems to be... Is that like <laughs> wads of cash? All right. I guess you're going to need that. And then, of course, the writer's room has the typewriter for all the writing. And we'll kind of do this in the same style as the producer. Cool. And the last thing is a maintenance room. So there's our maintenance room, which will need a locker and a mop. Hmm. Let's try to make this a 5x5 five five here. I want to try to at least finish some of these rooms. We're locked in by the tutorial. Uh, okay. That's all right. We'll uh, place this here. And we'll kind of modify it a little bit later. I guess this is counting as the writer's room, so we can build a whole new room, I believe. Indoors pre-made rooms. Oh, never mind. They want us to do a prefab. Sorry. I'm just glancing after playing this just a little bit. I, I, I really have the hang of things and want to build it myself, but that's okay. We can add maintenance onto the end of the hall. But the tutorial helps to kind of cover some of the things that I may forget. It's kind of a good mental note for everybody. There we go. Oh, it's like a maintenance closet towards the end there. Very nice. Let's add a canteen too from indoors pre-made rooms. Choose canteen and place it on the lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and go for the canteen. Canteen is... Oh, the stunt facility is pretty big. Producer, writer, research, toilet, canteen. That's what we're looking for. A big old lunchroom, essentially. And we can add that to the end of this room as well over there in the corner. Perfect. All right, the lounge are currently locked. You'll be able to unlock them through research later in the game. I assume they probably mean by the full game, although this could be a quite a generous tutorial. Another useful tool is the clone tool. Select it, and then uh, select an entire producer's office that you created. Oh, boy. Q and E to rotate before placing. Oh, they want us to uh, copy and paste this. Oh boy, I hope there's an undo option. Now for the fun of it, let's turn this room into a toilet. Choose the bludgeon tool. Oh no. Click all the objects inside to delete them, but not the walls or doors. Oh, pretty easy to delete stuff. 
And now let's add a toilet to the room. Oh, now we're just getting... Now we're into shenanigans territory. We're just getting into some shenanigans. So sort by the toilet. Let's do a toilet stall. Oh, we're going to delete this anyway, so... There we go. Fancy. All right. Now we can go to some sets. Looks like we're going to start with this set here, which looks to be Castlevania. Yeah. A little uh, Dracula going on there. Cool. The set looks pretty nice. Okay, before we do that, let's see if we can quickly delete this lot. Now they're locking us. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and plop this over here on the opposite side. Maybe facing this way. There we go. Yeah, no, no sound stage at all. Crazy. All right, let's confirm our changes and exit build mode. Oh boy, I hate it. All right, time to hire employees. Let's go ahead and hire any actor from the list. Beatrice, welcome aboard. All right, the window that appears on the left is all their stats. So we do need to keep them happy. A little bit of the Sims here. We have to worry about their pay. We have some skills that they can gain over time. Traits is laid back. I'm assuming there might be negative traits that can come in over time or that you can maybe perhaps remove by sending them. As I can recall in the movies, I think there was a way to send people to rehab or recovery or whatnot. All right. Top part shows their name, fame level, and preview. Oh, okay, so she's 21 years old and a nobody so far. Not until she's in a few movies. Happiness and skill levels on the right side. Oh, the burger. Hunger, bladder, social sleep. Well, if that's not The Sims, I don't know what is. Jeez. Sims is a damn survival game. Uh, some of your Sims are so stupid, they'll try to burn down your... It's like, oh, can I, can I cook this firework on the stove? Oh, I'm dead. It's like, wow, this is truly... A brutal survival game. This one could be the same. Who knows? We got Bud LeBlanc. Really? He's going to be our producer. Very nice. Welcome aboard, Bud. Fantastic. All right. He's on his way to in the next day. All right. Very nice. Let's go ahead and assign him to a room. And we'll go ahead and switch to Bud. Switch to build mode to modify the employee slots. Really? Okay. When in build mode, you can modify the assigned employee. Okay. Oh, that's just a note. All right, we got Romeo coming in, too. And we got Alfred coming in. Amelia. Larry. Carolyn. Actors, writers, producers, maybe people to work in maintenance, etc. All right, we'll need to set up our daily schedule. Click the scheduling button. All right. In this window, you can define the activities done per hour of the day. You can also choose the quality of the food served in the canteen. Wow. All right. Let's assign the working hours. Click the work button. All right. So we want an eight hour slot. Click and drag to set a range. All right. Let's do uh, maybe nine to five. Is that nine? No. All right. Ah, that's fine. And you know what? This is America. There we go. Perfect. All right, working hours will never end. Uh, make sure no one's allowed to leave. Perfect. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, I see. So we can assign work and leave time. Okay. So let's go ahead and give it to them after. We'll go ahead and change this around. We'll go 9 to 5. Perfect. And then everything else is uh, going to be leaving. That'll be fine. Oh, actually, uh, let's make it anything up here for a couple hours. That's fine. Looks like we can't make them sleep, so. All right, uh, click the eat button and assign one hour of eating. Oh, wow, you have to tell them exactly. Oh, well, you can tell them what to do, or the anything is to give them a little bit of trust. All right, a staff lounge is where they can go get some of their needs taken care of. Looks like we're getting ready to build our first uh, set decorate it and to give our first movie a name I like this one the gifted airplane that is a good name I like it that's where we can change it if we want to so first we must write the script hire the actors design the scenes in the set and then film it and do post-production stuff so that's good hmm. looks like they want us to change it I like this one here let's uh, see if we can change it no what about randomize the Haunted Piano, The Brilliant Person. 
The Dark Disaster. The Dark Hospital. Wow, these are good names. These are actually pretty good. Ah, yes. And then we're into the uh, other modes where things can be written. Product type, in this case, will be a movie. Oh, we can make TV shows, too. Now, that's interesting. We might be able to go on to make something like uh, an 80s, 90s, and early 2000s sitcom or drama. And then maybe eventually go on to Netflix-level stuff where we create more darker series. So we have action, romance, adventure, comedy, crime, drama, epic horror, uh, mystery, sci-fi, thriller, and western. And a lot of these could also combine. I mean, there's nothing says um, love like uh, also a little thriller. So we'll go with the... Let's go with the action. And the theme will be a vampire. Vampire romance? Oh, no. I, I don't, I don't want to recreate that one. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to do that one. Let's go with general audiences. Choose the producer will be Bud. And I think we're good to go after choosing Romeo as our writer. The director shall be Alfred, who we selected before. Oh, we can put in lore, dialogue, story. Do we have a certain number of points, or does that just raise the price? Hmm. Well, they say to leave them is for now, so let's go with the... Uh, I guess they're all at six. We'll leave those alone at six. Okay. All right, we now have a green check mark in the script button. Sure do. Click the scenes button. Wow, there's a lot to set up here. Actors button, okay. Choose the set. We've got our default set for Dracula. Actors, we're gonna put Beatrice Curry in there, the one we saw earlier. 21 year old who uh, is laid back. Apparently that's what that perk means. You can see the starting expenses and expected hype for the project in this section. Ooh. All right, yeah, I guess people are excited for the first movie. They don't even know what the hell movies are. Ooh. Yo, they don't even have internet. Can you believe that? This must be like the 80s or the 90s. Wow, could you imagine living in those times? Unbearable. Let's create that product and let's speed up time. Cool. All right, so I would like to uh, delete a few things and, and redesign uh, a lot. Oh, boy. Build mode to modify employee slots. Uh, won't let me. All right, the employees will arrive uh, the first work hour of the upcoming day, you can speed up time until they arrive. So right now it is about, f well, almost getting close to 4 a.m. They're going to be arriving at about probably before 8 or 9, just before 9. And, oh, we can see the bus pulling up. That was cool. Everybody arriving all at once is kind of nice. So I guess we don't really need to worry about parking or whatnot. But I would like at least for some realism to create at least like a little a little lot for people to park in. Alright. Looks like they're working on the script already. Wonder if we can reassign him to the other office. But hey, it gives us options to do whatever. Alright, and the script is almost written. Wow, he's writing this literally. He has this done by 10 a.m. And in, in one hour, he wrote an entire 1920s movie. Uh, Dracula. Girl comes in, screams, Dracula bites her at the end. All right, cool. All right, when's lunch? That would be my first question. Oh, come on. I want to bulldoze thing. Moving on to filming. Let's do it. Ooh, are they already filming? Looks like it. Uh, moving on to filming, your director and the crew should be heading to the filming set and they're filming the needed scenes. Wait until they're done. Oh, we're just gonna watch? She's supposed to be all alone? No Dracula? Okay. No Bella Lugosi? I guess, I, all right, I guess it was just a, uh, a tell-all interview. Overall score 50%. All right, well, not bad, quality on takes and whatnot. Quality, the best take so far. Reshoot. Oh, so there could be a little bit of babysitting for all of that. I like this so far. The fact that it's not just designing, but that we also have to put in a lot of care to the movies. It's not necessarily hands-off on everything. It looks like there's a decent amount of detail on each of the things so far. Hiring staff and a lot of stats for them. Uh, the design of buildings where, of course, we get different paints and uh, can put in different windows and whatnot. 
kind of cool. Now, obviously, it's, it's pretty ugly right now, I mean, no doubt, but imagine this with windows, plants, a waiting room maybe, um, and different corridors and doors that lead to different corridors. You can make like one large interconnected facility, which probably would be best to build one large building here, and then the sets outside, and then eventually build uh, other things like your actor's quarters or trailer and other things that they might may want that could be added a little bit later. Okay, how are we doing? We're reef shooting things. Good. And we are done. That's a wrap, folks. Oh, and they're already uh, heading out for the day. Everybody's tuckered out. Heading home on the bus. I like that. That's really well done. I like the fact that the actors don't just go to the edge of the map and disappear, or that they walk off, uh, you know, into the sunset or something, or despawn, that they actually get onto a bus and go to the end of the road. That's really cool. Bye, see you tomorrow. That's actually quite well done. All right, wait for the new take to be completed. Well, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So we shall wait for that. Now, while we wait, they were 93% before they called it a day. It was like, one, she had to say one more line and they decided to bail. That's all right, you know, like, the Wendy's drive through isn't open 24 hours back in 1920, you know? Although it was made November 1969, great important day. All right, they're back for more. Everybody's here again. And action. Cool, they're done. All right, good. All right, the latest take was much better. Great. That's enough for now. Let's finish filming. And let's release the product. Releasing tomorrow. Wow, you'd think there would still be a little bit more to do. I guess they're literally going to take the camera roll with almost unedited footage, and that's it. That's their movie. No cutting the film, no editing, but, you know, it's the 1920s, so... All right. Uh... Looks like the critics are harsh on small studios. Well, that's great. As a reward for your first release, an actor of fame level one has joined the studio. Fantastic. That'll give us a little bit of a bonus. Ooh. Oh, I thought they were coming in now. So one uh, expectation is that we must provide accommodations for them. Oh, and there's a world map. I did not know that. Grid row. Looks like we have some nice houses up here. Pinnacle Hills, Benita Beach, and also downtown. Very nice. All right, I guess we're going to find some people in Grid Row. There we go. Mila Arnold. Oh, we're renting her a apartment, I think. Yep. Terminate the lease. All right, that's where she's going to stay. That's a little bit of a requirement for her. That's what that's part of her contract. Build an office and leasing set a uh, filming sets. Hire employees, film and release products, aim to earn awards in the December ceremony, and look around and have fun. For sure, we could definitely do that. All right, the thing that draws me to this game the most, though, is probably the building, because there's lots of options to be able to make things look nice. And, uh, you know, having movies look nice is one thing, but I'm not sure how detailed this game will get into allowing us to actually watch the movies after we're done filming them. Hopefully it's not just like film movie, make product, get money. Hopefully there's a little bit more to it where it'd be kind of cool to do our own editing, such as in uh, YouTuber Life Sim and a few other games like that. Let's go ahead and build a room here and finally do what we've been planning to do, do the whole time. There we go, our writer and producer room now having a, a wall. Let's go ahead and include a window. We'll add more to that. Right, let's go to Windows. There we go. Everybody's got a nice window to look outside. Cool. Now they also did show us the copy paste feature so we don't have to do that every time. That's kind of nice. Oh, and that's cool too. We can extend a building or a room very easily. So if we need to extend a, uh, if we made this room a little too small, we can expand it. It'll cost us, but you don't have to, like, tear down the wall. You don't have to Ronald Reagan that wall. You can just Gorbachev it and build a new one. That's kind of cute. Very nice. All right, looks good. All right, we got some brick walls. Some default walls. That kind of looks a little more... Oh, yeah. The brick kind of looks nice. Let's put that into each of these offices. Does that actually cost us anything? It does. All right. Let's go for the hallway. Eh, that looks a little too dark. 
That's a little better. Yeah. Some of these look too modern. This is what you would see like at a modern jewelry store or clothing store. But this looks okay. I'm trying to find something that looks maybe a little more 20s there. That 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 seems to fit the bill so far. Okay. We have our canteen too. That looks fine. And let's start working on floors. That's a little too meh. That's way too bright. That's uh hmm. There we go. We'll go with wood there. And maybe some wood for the offices. Cool. All right. Doesn't look too bad. And what is this? Concrete tile for the main entrance? Is that a carpet? Ceramic. Okay. Marble. Not a lot of floor options, but... Yeah, that's better than uh, what it was. And we'll let that extend to this room. Perfect. All right. Now, we did need the bathroom. Let's go with the prefab bathroom. And we can put that onto the lounge, but I think we'll just put it... Uh, we'll put it here. Nice. Alright, let's decorate that as well. That's fine. Hopefully we get more options, but these are good so far. What is that? Single black tile. Hmm. Alright, I like it. That's much better. Now the maintenance room. Ooh, that nice subway tile. Cool. Fancy. Alright, let's just add some windows now. should be okay for now. Alright, I kind of like it. Let's do some outdoor decor. Ooh, that's a big old tree. Unfortunately, I don't think we get to see the roofs of buildings. And, it, wow, yeah, that, wow, that's directly from The Sims. There, that's not a problem, though, honestly. I, I feel like a familiar system like that is almost hard to avoid. Like, why recreate the wheel? Wow, some of those trees are just massive. They look really uh, huge because, of course, there's no roof to these buildings yet. And it kind of cuts through the building a little bit. But kind of nice to be able to put it maybe along the street if you wanted to. Some privacy. Sound barrier or whatnot. Alright, that's good enough for now. That's better than she was. That's much nicer. Got our chef on standby. Bathroom's looking nice. Got people able to access the restroom. That looked like our janitor there. Very nice. Okay, so we're releasing our first product tomorrow. We can start working on a new one, I suppose. Uh, the Desperate Drama. Mm -hmm. Great product. We gotta pick some things here. Low budget. Movie. That is a romance with vampires for general audiences, produced by Bud, directed by Alfred, and written by Romeo. Looks like we can have two writers. And that just seems to be fine. Let's call it The Hilarious Stranger. That's a good name. And, uh... We have to have a set selected. So everything's going to be filmed on the default set. So I guess we get more bonuses as we change locations. That's kind of cool. And we need to pick an actor for this one. Let's go with our new one, Mila. Ah, let's do both. There we go. All right, now we can get a little bit of a product going. And that'll be our next one. It's like at this rate, we're going to pump out a movie a day or something like that. It's like when a Netflix series drops. <laughs> Very nice. Now, I hope we can get more buildings in the future that are prefabbed external buildings, like a soundstage for soundproofing and a much larger atmosphere rather than just this single angle. But uh, so far, so good, though. And a little weird, though, that people are walking around randomly. Like, in the rain? <laughs> like, don't you have somewhere to be? 
I, I guess not. And it would, boy, that would suck to film out here in the rain. There's nothing to it. We can we can only like film on a sunny day. And it's constantly raining out here. Maybe we should turn to farming. Everything seems uh, lush enough for it. Uh oh, everybody needs to go to the bathroom, and it's the end of the day anyway. But the bathroom seems functional. And we wait for the next day. What do we have down here? A number of movies produced, our fans, our employees. We have nobody who's a fan at all. But, interestingly enough, we're almost a two-star studio, even though we haven't even uh, produced a single film. Uh, 48, God Deliver Us From Evil. Oh, is this the, the movie review? Bored us to death. Well, I don't know. Can't really trust movie reviews in 1920. You don't really have much going on. Wow, that cost us 71000 But we gained some fans. That's good. Got to keep going until we get better at it. First movie is always obviously going to suck. Same with the YouTube video. Same with the stream. Anything like that. Your first one is just not going to be as good, no matter how much time and money you pour into it, as your 75th or 100th. Or in this case, this video, which is my best video ever. Until tomorrow, when I make a new one, probably. All right, filming is done of one of those scenes. So we could reshoot. That that was what? A, was that a 49, 47? Last one wasn't even filmed. They're at 97% again. Hmm. Well, I wonder if there's more ways to quickly film. Ways to speed it up, of course, with additional staff. And nowadays, we just have a bunch of people dressed in green, you know, holding like UFOs and, and bullets and whizzing them by the, uh, the actors. What is this? Do it again and do it right. Buy by the director's standards and retake the shots. I agree with that. I was going to do that anyway, so certainly do that. Mmm, ticket sales. Oh, that was just based on one day. So it's not necessarily um, ticket sales in total that we saw, but it was just for one debut day. And then, of course, first week. So, wow, we've already sold over 7,000 tickets. Boy, a movie ticket in 1920. Must have been like what? A nickel and you got like a free soda, a free popcorn, your car <laughs> tires changed. Uh, they changed your oil, fill up, they did your uh, windows, they came over to your house and cleaned and tidied everything up, they put your kids through college. I don't even think you can get anything anymore for $5, really. Well, that's not true. You can always click or tap join to become a member today, a little raptor tier or a raptor egg. Click or tap that join button now. Look at it down there. Mm, that join button looking so juicy. All right, we got to research, reshoot. I wish we could research better sets, though. That would definitely make this a little bit more interesting. Can we research? Yeah, we're yeah we're gonna we're doing it we're doing it again. We're doing it all over again. Everything's starting from scratch. Got to redo. I love that. So it looks like we're getting diminishing returns that about have each time at this current level. So it's like we made a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, twenty-five, and then maybe less than ten, depending on how it works. I can't really see. However, we made sixty-eight thousand. So not bad. It was kind of like we were broke, e almost broke even on our first movie. So got everybody leveled up, got a little bit of experience. That's not bad. Okay, I think we're going with this one. Finish filming. It's not great, 52%, but it's better than what we had before. So let's release that tomorrow and check out the ratings. So from here on out, what we would obviously be doing is we'd be hiring multiple actors, multiple writers, producers, and other staff. So that way we could have multiple sets. And we basically just want to spam things out, right? We want to be, be producing a romantic film as we're producing an action film. We want to have like four actors, you know, mixing and mingling to find out what style works the best. And then obviously we need two directors to film two uh, movies at the same time. And then, of course, two producers to fund two movies at the same time. Uh, although I'm not sure if our budget will allow that. I mean, we've only got about 78000 in the bank. So, you know, there's that. Deliver us from evil. God, okay. Man, they are mean. Wow, and that cost us 113000 to reshoot everything. $113,000 in 1920s money. Man, that was a lot of catering. Now ah, we'll see. We'll pro wow, we already got 25000 back the first day. Okay. It looks like it. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh. oh, we actually netted about almost 4 k All right. 
not bad. So we are profitable, even with just this little small setup. Not bad, man. So eventually, we're going to have to expand into all these areas and have uh, different things going for stunt and um, lounges and multiple like wings working. You could almost have like your action wing with a building set up for producer, writer, research, uh, and then of course your canteens and stuff for all the people who might be shooting near that position or that sound stage. You could have multiple sound stages and then copy that three or four times. Not bad. There also seems to be an option to be able to copy these buildings to your clipboard and possibly bring them in again. Or that should be a thing too. We got banks. We got things for research. Oh, man. We can research uh, equipment, production, facilities, and employees, genres and themes, and, of course, RP, which must be research points that we get from having those. So you can have your own research and development division that kind of mimics the producer and the writer. They can have their own buildings, too, so I can see a way to do that. Hopefully we can have multiple floors. I, I feel like it'll only be one. I haven't seen the stairs, but uh, that would be kind of nice. Of course, we can manage our current employees and hire more. And then our option to take a look at more, more and more and more. Always more. That's what we need. Always more. Not bad for a first look at a demo that certainly fills the gap for what I miss about The Sims 3. The, I guess, impression that Sims 4 gave at the beginning of its excitement. And then, of course, all the things I loved about the movies. If you guys want to see more of this game, hopefully it'll come out soon. So smash that like button and glory to Raptoria down below in the comment section as well. Thanks again for all the support, kindness, awesomeness, and positivity in these videos and live streams. It's been awesome to be able to showcase all sorts of new games from the Steam Next event and all sorts of Steam games that are coming soon. So I hope to see you all soon, and I'll see you next time. That's all for me for now. See ya.